A Manitoba judge is feeling the heat for a controversial ruling in a sexual assault case. He suggested the victim was partly to blame because of what she was wearing. And that sparked outrage across the province. Marissa Durgani has that story tonight. Yes means yes and no means no. Not even a cold, frigid day could stop outraged women's groups from protesting. To think that in 2011 we could have a justice making those comments in a courtroom. They're calling for this Manitoba judge, Robert Dewar, to resign after he made controversial comments in a sexual assault case. Justice Dewar convicted Kenneth Rhodes of a 2006 sexual assault in Thompson, Manitoba, but he didn't send him to jail. Instead, he gave him a two-year conditional sentence and partially blamed the victim. During sentencing last week, Justice Dewar said, two women, one dressed in a tube top, both of whom were made up and wore high heels, made their intentions publicly known that they wanted to party. He said the victim gave out signals that sex was in the air. Many, perhaps most judges, do understand how sexual assault law has changed in the last 20 years, but we see a surprising number of cases where judges don't have that understanding. The province of Manitoba plans to support sexual assault victims by complaining to the Canadian Judicial Council. The sense that there's anything they could do that might deserve sexual assault is that is an outdated, outmoded attitude of the past and not something that their leaders share. The federal government is women. also weighing like in. I hope that women out there know that this is not the message uh, that our government believes should be sent. I think we established long ago that no means no. The victim told CBC she's hurt and shocked by Justice Dewar's words but grateful for the outpouring of support. Meanwhile, Justice Dewar will continue hearing cases. Marissa Dragani, CBC News, Winnipeg.